coming to you virtually from the internet. This is week 11 of kindergarten music. I'm your teacher, Mr. Welfley, and in today's lesson, we're going to learn about the letter K. We're going to be singing about an animal called a kangaroo, and we're going to be learning about where they live, a continent called Australia. We're also going to listen to an instrument called a baritone. But first, let's get our bodies moving and start with some stretches. Take your arm, stretch it tall, touch your back, grab your elbow, and walk. Switch arms, take your other arm, touch your back, Grab your elbow and roll. Take your arm across your body, push your elbow. Take your other arm across your body and push your other elbow. Move your shoulders together, forward. Take them backwards together, and then one at a time. Forward, and one at a time backwards. Move your hands in circles, in one direction, and then in the other direction. Have them face each other, and away, squeeze. Squeeze down, squeeze up, squeeze and down. Wiggle, 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 shake, wiggle, 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 shake, wiggle, 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 shake with your hands in your lap. Take your neck in a circle. Other direction. Stretch your hands tall. Taller, tallest, and relax. Slowly roll up, look over one shoulder, look over your other shoulder, and look at Mr. Welfley. Great job stretching, everybody. Now, let's talk about today's instrument. This instrument is made out of metal. Therefore, it is in a family of instruments called the brass family. This instrument has a bell where the sound comes out. This instrument has a mouthpiece where I buzz my lips. And this instrument has keys and valves that change the sound. This instrument is called a baritone, and it sounds like this. If I play some notes on the baritone, can you sing them back to me like this? My friend Naya here is going to help us. Ooh. Let's try another one. All right, can you sing that? Ooh. Great job, Naya. Let's try one more. Can you guys do that one? Let's find out. Great job singing along with the baritone. But now we need to warm up our voices in a different way with this picture right here. This is a kangaroo, 
and the kangaroo starts low on the ground and jumps way up high until it comes back down to the ground. So when I count to four, we're going to start with a low voice, and then we're going to raise our voices higher and higher and higher, and then make them low again. Let's try that. One, two, ready, here we go. Great job, everybody. All right. I want to warm up our voices in one more way. We're going to sing low and medium and high about the letter K. So we will sing each sentence. First, we'll sing it low in a low voice. Then we'll sing it in a medium voice. And finally, in a high voice. So let's try it. It goes like this. I'll sing first. Naya will go second. And you can go ahead and join her. All right? It goes like this. Big K, little K. Big K, little K. Kitten kangaroo. Kitten kangaroo, kick a kettle kite, kick a kettle kite, and a king's kerchoo, and a king's kerchoo. Great job singing with a low voice. Now let's sing a little bit higher. Big K, little K, big K, little K, kitten kangaroo. Kitten kangaroo, kick a kettle kite, kick a kettle kite, and a king's kerchoo, and a king's kerchoo. And last time, let's sing a little bit higher, like this. Big K, little K, big K, little K, kitten kangaroo. Kitten kangaroo, kick a kettle kite, kick a kettle kite, and the king's kerchoo, and the king's kerchoo. Great job warming up your voices with us, low and medium and high. Now it's time for us to sing our first K song. And this song says, Keely Kangaroo and Keely's Kitty, too, will fly a kite and kick a ball and play a big kazoo. Now, there are lots of words, starting with the letter K in this song. So let's count them up, shall we? I'll say a word starting with K. And you go ahead and count a number. Let's try it. The first word is Keely. That's one. Then it says kangaroo. That's two. It says Keely again. That's three. And kitty. That's four. Then it says kite. That's five. And kick. That's six. And finally, it ends on the musical instrument called a kazoo. How many words starting with K is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven words starting with K in this song. I'm going to go ahead and sing it one sentence at a time. Naya is going to sing after me, and you can go ahead and sing with her. All right, here we go. Keely kangaroo, Keely kangaroo, and Keely's kitty too, and Keely's kitty too, will fly a kite and kick a ball, will fly a kite and kick a ball, and play a big kazoo, and play a big kazoo. All right. It's time for me to get my guitar, and we will try this song about Keely the kangaroo together. All right. And 
And it goes something like this. Keely kangaroo, Keely's kitty too. Fly a kite and kick a ball, play a big kazoo. Great job. Let's try it one more time, a little bit higher. Keely kangaroo, Keely's kitty too. Fly a kite and kick a ball, and play a big kazoo. That was our song about Keely the Kangaroo. But we have one more kangaroo song today, and it's called Tie Me Kangaroo Down Sport, because kangaroos are always jumping up and down and up and down. We need to tie that animal down so it stops hopping all over the place. This song, uh, just like the animal it talks about, comes from a continent called Australia. And Australia is right here on the map. And this song is not only about kangaroos, but it's about all the different interesting animals you find in Australia. The first animal, like I said, is a kangaroo, and it goes like this. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. We just have to sing the same thing four times. Tie me kangaroo down. And two of those times, we are going to say the word sport. The melody goes like this. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Great job. Let's try the second time. Tie me kangaroo down. Tie me kangaroo down. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Tie me kangaroo down. All right, boys and girls. Let's go ahead and try this together. All right. All you have to do is sing the same sentence four times. You just heard the melody, so let's put it all together. And tie me kangaroo down, sport. All right, let's see what our next animal is. Our next animal looks like a kangaroo, but it's much smaller. This animal is called a wallaby. And this part says, watch me wallaby feed, mate. Watch me wallaby feed. Watch me wallaby feed, mate. Watch me wallaby feed. So same melody, same tune. We're going to sing the same sentence four times, except this time, two of the times, we're going to add the word mate, which means friend. So let's try it together. Watch me wallaby feed, mate. Watch me wallaby feed. Watch me wallaby feed, mate. Watch me wallaby feed. Our third animal is a very fancy bird called a cockatoo. And since there are parts of Australia that are very hot, we're going to try to keep our cockatoo cool. So it says, keep me cockatoo cool, girl. Keep me cockatoo cool. Keep me cockatoo cool, girl. Keep me cockatoo cool. We're gonna say, keep me cockatoo cool, 
four times, and two of the times we're going to add girl. So let's try it. Here we go. Keep me cockatoo cool, girl. Keep me cockatoo cool. Keep me cockatoo cool, girl. Keep me cockatoo cool. Our next animal is an adorable koala living in a tree, eating its favorite plant, eucalyptus. This animal has fallen out of its tree and we need to put it back, which is why it says, take me koala back. Jack, take me koala back. Take me koala back. Jack, take me koala back. Let's put that koala back in its tree. Take me koala back, Jack. Take me koala back. Take me koala back, Jack. Take me koala back. Now we have a little creature called a mongoose and a mongoose is always trying to get away and cause mischief and that's why he's all captured right now and it says let me mongoose loose Lou let me mongoose loose let me mongoose Lou go loose Lou let me mongoose go loose so this little guy wants to get away and cause some mischief and two of the four times, we're going to sing Lou, all right? Let him go, Lou. Let me mongoose go loose, Lou. Let me mongoose go loose. Let me mongoose go loose, Lou. Let me mongoose go loose. Our next animal is a very strange creature called a platypus. It has fur, but it also has a bill like a duck, and it also has little flippers so that it can swim through the water. And this one says, mind me platypus duck, Bill. Mind me platypus duck. Mind me platypus duck, Bill. Mind me platypus duck. And it goes like this. Mind me platypus duck, Bill. Mind me platypus duck. Mind me platypus duck, Bill. Mind me platypus duck. And finally, our last verse of this song is not about an animal at all. It is about a person called an aborigine. Just like in the United States, we have uh, our original people called Native Americans. Australia is a continent that has its own native people, and those natives are called aborigines. And aborigines play a very interesting instrument called a didgeridoo. It's a long, hollowed out piece of wood that makes a fantastic sound. And in this part, we're going to sing, play your didgeridoo, blue, play your didgeridoo. Play your didgeridoo, blue, play your didgeridoo. Play your didgeridoo, blue, play Hey, I want to thank you guys for singing with me today, and I will see you next time.